Lyme disease is one of the fastest growing diseases around the world, but one of the least talked about. Testing for Lyme disease tends to be very inaccurate, and most practitioners do not have proper training to identify or treat Lyme disease symptoms. Stick with us to learn more about the huge array of symptoms Lyme disease can present, and how to know if you might have Lyme disease. Also, we will provide resources and questionnaires that can help you narrow down your symptoms so that you can determine the likelihood of having Lyme disease or another illness. Lyme disease is caused by the bacterium. Borrelia burgdorferi, and is primarily transmitted to humans through the bite of an infected tick. It can also be transmitted by other biting insects in utero, or other methods. The symptoms of Lyme disease can vary widely from person to person, and are very different in the acute stage versus the chronic stage, which makes it challenging to diagnose. We will be discussing several symptoms in the acute and chronic stages. So stick around and follow us so we can help you evaluate your symptoms to help you figure out if you have Lyme disease. When it comes to Lyme disease, the symptoms can be tough to identify. In the early stage, which we call acute Lyme disease, it may feel like you've caught the flu. You might experience a fever, chills, and sweats, along with achy muscles and a serious lack of energy. But here's the tricky part. You probably have heard that you get a bullseye rash when you get Lyme disease, but this is not the case for everyone. In fact, less than 50% of people actually develop a rash. So if you have spent time outdoors and are experiencing flu-like symptoms or other abnormal symptoms, but don't have a rash, it's important to keep Lyme disease on your radar. Some of the flu-like symptoms you might experience are feeling fatigued, running a fever, getting chills, having a pounding headache, and dealing with achy muscles and joints. Another sign can be swollen lymph nodes, indicating your body is fighting something. Many women also report heightened anxiety or abnormal emotional feelings. Now let's talk about some of the long-lasting symptoms of Lyme disease known as chronic Lyme disease. This sneaky disease can spread throughout your body and wreak havoc on different systems. That means it can cause a wide range of symptoms that go beyond just fatigue and joint pain. Muscle pain, general discomfort and trouble sleeping can become all too familiar. You might even find yourself struggling with cognitive issues like memory problems and difficulty concentrating. Depression and anxiety can creep in, adding an extra layer of challenge to your daily life. Other symptoms you might experience are joint pain, nerve pain, muscle aches, and swelling. These pains may move around your body. For instance, you may experience joint pain in your wrist and fingers one day, and then in your knees or ankles another day. It's like having a constant ache in your body that just won't quit. Neurological issues can also pop up. You might find yourself struggling with memory problems, having difficulty concentrating, experiencing tingling or numbness in your hands or feet, tremors, Bell's palsy, or dealing with sleep disturbances. It's like your brain and nerves are having a hard time communicating with each other. Mood and cognitive disturbances can also be part of the picture. You might feel down, anxious, or experience brain fog. Decision-making can become a real challenge. Some other symptoms are headaches, dizziness, heart palpitations, and even changes in your vision. It's a lot to deal with, and it can really disrupt your life. One of the worst things about Lyme disease is it can mimic the symptoms of other serious illnesses like chronic fatigue syndrome, ALS, depression, fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, and even Alzheimer's disease. This is why they call Lyme disease the great imitator. Getting an accurate diagnosis is crucial to ensure you receive the right treatment. If Lyme disease isn't caught and treated early, it can progress to the chronic stage, which becomes difficult to treat. This is why it's essential to stay vigilant and seek medical attention if you suspect you might be dealing with Lyme disease. Another tricky part of having Lyme disease is that the symptoms can actually overlap with those of other medical conditions. This can make it pretty tough to get a proper diagnosis. You see, fatigue, joint pain, and cognitive issues can be seen in other illnesses too. That's why it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional who's experienced in dealing with Lyme disease. They'll be able to conduct a thorough evaluation and help you figure out what's really going on. We also want to note here that Lyme disease testing is extremely inaccurate. According to the CDC, 
Testing for Lyme disease is a clinical diagnosis. So even if you have received a negative Lyme test, that is not a conclusive diagnosis. Something strange about Lyme disease symptoms is they can come and go, which means they can vary in intensity and even disappear for a while, only to come back later. It's like a roller coaster ride for your body. This fluctuating pattern is particularly common in chronic Lyme disease, making it tricky to manage and treat. So when should you start waving the medical flag for Lyme disease symptoms? As soon as possible. Catching it early and getting the right treatment promptly is key to avoiding complications down the road. Many people tend to be dismissed by doctors, which means that you have to advocate for yourself if you are feeling like something is not right. Speaking of treatment, can Lyme disease symptoms be tamed? Well, good news. If Lyme disease is caught early enough and treated properly, it can be taken care of effectively. Doctors often prescribe antibiotics to kick out the infection. However, there are cases where symptoms persist or show up again, requiring additional treatment and management strategies. It's a bit of a puzzle sometimes, but the right approach can make all the difference. Lastly, can Lyme disease cause long-term complications? Unfortunately, yes. If Lyme disease is left untreated or not treated properly, it can wreak havoc on your body in the long run. It can mess with your joints, heart, nervous system, and even your thinking ability. So it's definitely not something to take lightly and should be addressed promptly and properly. If you are experiencing chronic Lyme symptoms, don't give up hope. There are a variety of treatment methods out there to help people get back to living their lives. It is a tough disease to navigate, mostly due to a lack of knowledge in the medical community, but you are not without resources entirely. On our website, Lyme Warrior, we have a page of resources for treatment methods along with more guidelines on accurate Lyme testing, treatments, success rates, and progressing research for a cure. Visit our Lyme Disease Symptoms page to find a questionnaire written by Lyme expert, Dr. Richard Horowitz. He designed the questionnaire to help patients identify symptoms and evaluate if it could be Lyme disease. The link is also included in the description below. In conclusion, Lyme disease symptoms can indeed be unpredictable, but with the right medical attention and treatment, you can find relief and minimize any long-term complications. Remember, if you're experiencing symptoms or suspect you may have been exposed to Lyme disease, don't hesitate to reach out to a Lyme experienced healthcare professional. If you found this information helpful and want to stay updated on a wide range of topics, feel free to subscribe to our channel. Stay informed, stay healthy, and stay connected.